weeks, fifteen weeks first from Sanskrit school, comprising of Adi and myself, me, would like to present our project, the Mars. The Earth is already overpopulated. The proportional population is far more than the resources available. It is imperative for us millennials to think about the future and the next generation. It is high time we think about alternative habitat. New scientific discoveries show exoplanets and exomoons with Earth-like conditions and temperatures. So, we, the team Deep Space, look to the stars and design the Mars. Just less than a century ago, traveling between two continents was unthinkable. But these days, we have airliners that can circumnavigate the globe in mere hours. The Mars is designed to withstand the extreme temperature, pressure, and the vacuum of space. We have designed new technologies and made theoretical improvements to the existing ones, such as fusion energy which allows the spacecraft to operate. The spacecraft is divided into three main sections, the hangar, the factory space, and the most important of them all, the command center. These three main parts are connected to each other by slotting into the small tube situated behind them. We begin at the rearmost section, the hangar. As you can see, it has two floors to function on. The upper floor is solely meant for the storage of spacecraft. On the lower floor, however, you can see a gaping hole. This is devised to allow the spacecraft stored inside to have the least hassle for docking and exit. They are held down by electromagnetic clamps on the underside of the spacecraft. There is a gesture control probe in this section as well, and it reacts to my very moon. We now move on to the central part, the factory space. Plants are grown in biopods that review the temperature inside, adjusting the temperature and also process the plant matter into nutrient supplements and cellulose for clothing and construction purposes. As well, LED lights have been inbuilt in the tubes and are soldered in. This factory space also disassembles asteroids for the chemical components, namely oxygen and hydrogen, as well as many different metals. Now, we move on to arguably the most important part, the command center. Not only does this control the entire spaceship, but it also holds the cabins and the droid ranks. The entire process is computerized and the humans merely act as overseers. So in this project, we have mainly used Lego. For example, to display the hangar, we built Lego probes and uh, space shuttles. The probes are named Hugo, but the space shuttle is meant for interplanetary discovery and research. Now, whereas when we move on to the middle section, the Lego is used to showcase the figures, to show as if they're working on the biopods or as if they're guarding. Right at the command center, we've used Lego to set up consoles and panels to look like computers. And also, we have a lot of figures which give it a more realistic look. For the spaceship structural properties, we have used foam board, which is both easy to cut and easy to mold. At uh, the front, for the curved shaping, we have used bent plastic. We have also used two uh, spray paint bottles covered in paint to weigh it down. We have also used a lot of electronic components. For example, in the middle section, the, uh, the, uh, for the biopods, we have soldered together wires to LEDs to make sure that the lights glow inside the biopods. In this section, for the temperature sensor and the light sensor, we have also used a photoreceptor, male to male uh, wires, a breadboard, an Arduino Uno, and a, a temperature sensor and a photoreceptor. In the, in the most frontal area, we have used uh, many LEDs and wires to create the LEDs at the front. The significance of this project is to set up droid colonies on extragalactic planets and exomoons that could sustain themselves, build infrastructure responsibly, and form safe bases for humans to colonize. The innovation and technological advances that take place aboard the Mars could very well be the force to nudge us into the second space age. We want to be the pioneers to make our species an intergalactic species.